Hey guys, Will with Urban Outdoors DMV. We got the boat today. We're out here in beautiful Ocean City. We're gonna fish the bay side. We're gonna roll right up to 90 Bridge and see if we can pick some fish off of that structure over there. Stay tuned. We're out here in Ocean City. We rented a boat for the day. We went to Shark Marina. Rented this pontoon boat. It was like 300 bucks. Pretty well worth it. We were planning on going out to 90 Bridge and to go after some fluke off of the structure yeah, or see if we can get some tugs or some sheep's head. And as you can see, it's, we're going to run into a ton of Krogers and that's really about it. Yeah. Got eight inches? So, what you see here is basically yeah. what this whole video is going to be like. Got eight inches? Expert fisherwoman found the croakers. I was trying to get under 90 bridge or get along around it in the general area. She picked up a little sheep's head over there, which we didn't keep because it was just absolutely tiny. Anyway, I tried to go up okay. to Nandy Bridge and get as close to it as I could without anchoring. Um, the wind was crazy that day. The tide was coming in, and as soon as we got under Nandy Bridge or right up to it, it would just knock us right off. So I maneuver in the boat, I move the boat right up to the bridge, and then um, shows up to a couple of croakers, and um, yeah, that's going to be the story of this trip. Lots of croakers. It was a lot of fun Back trying to get fluke. Good. She did manage to get one yeah, small one, and um, yeah, that was about it. It wasn't near being a keeper, but we did kill the croakers on this trip, and some of them were nice. No, he's eight inches. He's a keeper. Good one. What, honey? It's okay. I want to see the Namador. Dad, I want to see the Namador. The Namador? What's a Namador, Peanut? Got honey. Oh, another good croaker. Take them. Yeah, that one's a good one. Yes. Can you pick them off and throw them in there? Good one. Let me see. Yeah, that one's that one's a good one. that rod. Jasmine, official measurer. Honey, you are the croco killer. Another big one on there? No, oh, well, not that big. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a keeper. Good job, honey. Killing it. That's just mommy's line. There's some good ones over there. Alright, here we go, guys. I'm going to try this croaker and then you know looking at it and I guess it didn't really occur to me the other day but these fish really look a lot like and they probably taste a lot like a fish we have on the mid-atlantic called spot which they're good I eat them sometimes you know they're great for bait they're good for food I apologize in advance if uh, we got a lot of noise because I'm over here in the suburban hell that's in Columbia and I live right by main roadway so this is what I got I got my croaker I drizzle them olive oil, and get the butter treatment, and I get some lemon, 
I got my mat that I used that I got specifically, let me turn this down a bit, I got specifically to grill fish on. And uh, it's supposed to be non-stick, so we're just going to go ahead and, uh, eh, we'll throw them on there. It'll be all right. We'll throw them on there. I got the olive oil on them. We'll go ahead and throw these guys on. And we're going to go ahead quickly and we're going to hit him with some lemon. Shoot some lemon on there. Shoot some lemon. Get some lemon on there. We're going to get a shot of salt and pepper. Should have done this when I was in the house, but of course I didn't think about it. Add some pepper in there. I don't remember what I cooked on here, but apparently we had a good fire going. Go ahead and flip it. Flip it. Flip it again. Flip it. It's supposed to be non-stick, and it looks like it's sticking pretty good. And give the other side the same kind of treatment. Some salt. Some pepper. Hit it with some lemon. A lemon on there. Lemon on that one. Lemon on that one. Lemon on that one. Get the lemon on there. We're gonna get our butter. Go ahead and chop some of this off. We'll put some butter on this thing. Stick some on the inside. So, it didn't come out bad. There were a couple fillets in there. I ate those. They're pretty good. All right, the moment of truth. Now, if you guys have followed me long enough, you know that I'm lazy and I don't like eating bones. So, there's no bones in the bone structure up top over here. Oh, there's a fin. Can't eat that. It's good, it's got a mild taste. Got a mild taste. Again, no bones, at least not in this part over here. It's not bad. Tastes pretty good for bait. Look at that. It's all nice white flaky meat.